Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, as the title suggests, Painting Army of the Dead. I haven't done a painting tutorial in a while. I hadn't been on this side of it ever. So I'm gonna go away and we'll come back with the pet models under the camera. Right then guys, so here we are. They're going to be painting these guys. I've they undercoated them in white, Corfax white. I undercoat them on the sprue, on the spew. I've taken off any bits that well, are going to be too difficult to paint over, the bits of flash. So yeah. So let's get started. I'm going to start with Celeste Grey. That's a big shape. I'm literally going to just lather this all over both the models. Okay, so get that there. Just going to pick up the model and just lather this over the whole of it. Because I want to make sure that this gets into and covers all the white without trying to get in the way of the camera, of course. Because this will give it the nice ghostly base that it will carry through to the final layer. There we go, and that is the first model coated. Now I'm just going to do the same for the second model. Okay then guys, so once we've lathered them with the Celeste Grey, we're then going to want to next come in with this shade, it's Beal Tan Green, going to give them the nice ghostly green that we're going to want all over it. So I load that up on the brush again, same as last time, we are just going to slather this all over the miniature, all over. And it's going to give us that nice ghostly green that this miniature deserves. Okay. Okay then guys, so now that we've covered them both in the Beal Tan, we are next going to dry brush on some Euphelan Grey. I probably butchered that set, butchered that name. Oh, so go ahead and give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. So I'm going to take a good portion. I've got a bit of tissue here. Okay. Then I'm just going to take my miniature and literally just dry brush it over. 
Hope I've taken up enough. I'm just doing literally dry brush over. The miniature, making sure to keep the green, but to fade it a little bit. And we'll just keep doing that all over the miniature. There we go, and we'll do that to the other miniature. Okay, and then once that dried, you just want to base it with the rest of your army. So I will do that one. This is one I did last year. I literally just did the bottom with the rest of my armies the same. So one thing brown. And then I got some cotton wool and just threw it on, pulled it off. Uh, this guy, the sword on this guy actually broke originally. But I think that fits in more with the aesthetic, so I'm happy with that. And there, of course, is a shield. So there you have it, guys. I really like how the miniatures turned out. This is the one I did ages ago. You can see it's just cotton wool on the base. Not even expensive stuff, just simple stuff that I, I'll admit. I stole from my wife. <laughs> Thank you, baby. And yeah, he looks amazing. I actually love his look. But let me know what you think. Comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe this video. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.